Hello friends, welcome to another vlog. I'm gonna start out with the outfit of the day and then we will go from there. I am going to go get my hair done. So I am actually dressed quite casually today, wearing my puff sleeve sweater that I recently hauled from Target. Also my Eloquy jeans that I am loving at the moment. So excited to be back in jeans. Although I do have them cuffed as you see because I do need to hem them. I just don't have the time to do that before my hair appointment. And then my Gucci double G Marmont sneakers I think is what they're called. Anyway, my white sneakers. Super casual today. Nothing fancy because all I'm going to go do is do my hair and then um, I've been working this morning and also going to just do more admin work since my day has been kind of cut in the middle with uh, with the hair appointment. My hair appointment's at 1230 and it is, I think right now it's like close to 11. Let's turn you around for jewelry. All right, so my jewelry today, very simple. Just a pair of my pearl cluster earrings because I'm gonna have to wear a mask. Even though I am currently wearing gloss, that will probably come off um, before I head out. I just needed some moisture on my lips. I'm wearing my Tower 28 Milky Jelly Gloss in Cashew. Minimal makeup. So today, let me go ahead and let me get you set up at my desk and then we'll talk about what's on deck. As soon as I am done here, um, which will be in a few minutes, I am going to go downstairs. I need to plan out some content. I need to plan out some stuff for the Style Society membership. And I wanted to talk with you guys a little bit about that. I'm announcing it here on the vlog that I am opening the doors to my membership in October. I still haven't set a date yet, but it will probably be in the next week or two. I am restructuring the pricing. My existing members, you guys are fine. You're grandfathered in and um, I am offering a kind of a community only kind of pricing versus what I had initially launched with was a community and coursework. So for those of you that signed up in the first round, you will have access to the coursework because you guys, you know, you paid the full price. And for those of you who want to join just on the community, because I got a lot of feedback from you guys that it was too expensive. What I really, really, truly wanted when I started out with all of this and was exploring Patreon and other and Facebook groups and all of that, I really want a place where we can gather and talk about style fashion, you know, um, participate in the style challenges and just kind of have a, a separate community from YouTube where you can just, you know, show your pictures of your outfits and, you know, um, I've got various style challenges. Every month I have a monthly theme and everything's kind of geared to that theme to kind of help educate you for uh, around style and fashion and for you guys to support each other in that journey. So I am actually creating a community only, at least this way you have the opportunity to talk and have a community because with Patreon, I would have had to have um, a subscribe to Discourse and it's completely detached from Patreon. And so they're two completely separate platforms and it was just gonna be really confusing for you guys, for me, for you know any admins that I might bring on at some point in the future. I've got you guys all in one space. I think it's just gonna be a really great place where we can sit down and chat and talk about fashion and to talk about style and how you can be your best self through style. So I hope that you guys are interested. I know that a lot of you expressed an interest, but it was a little bit too expensive when I first launched in June. Now I am ready to relaunch in October. I'm thinking probably around October the 15th, um, but I will let you guys know more and I will include um, links to the landing page once I have had an opportunity to restructure the pricing. For those of you who have paid the bigger price and, and have access to the coursework, I'm going to restructure how I'm doing the coursework as well. They're actually going to be live course sessions. So I will jump on and I will have some material, some, you know, um, some slides and such where I will pick a subject and we'll talk about it and it'll be kind of like a live lesson where you get to ask me questions it live in person versus having uh, just putting up a recording. And those live sessions, uh, the live courses will actually be posted to the site and those of you who have that level of access will be able to access those and uh, you will have evergreen access to it. And I'm excited about that because it's a lot less structured and it lets me pick 
pick the subjects and then you guys can also tell me what you want to talk about. For those of you who are community only, you will st still have access to my monthly style q and I'm calling it happy hour where you can bring a beverage if you want to, but you will st still have uh, the ability of participating in that. That's open to everyone. So um, if you have any specific style questions that you'd like to ask me, that's your opportunity to do it in the style Q&A that happens once a month on the third Thursday of every month. So I'm super excited. Um, I, I appreciate all of the feedback that I got back in June and uh, I have taken it to heart, given it a lot of thought. And that's uh, essentially what I'm coming back with um, is just offering that community only because really at the end of the day, that's what I really, really want with you guys. And I think that's really, really what you guys want as well. I hope I'll have a dedicated segment in the next vlog to talk about pricing links all of that, you know, the link to access and, and all of that. So super, super excited. I hope that you guys join and we can have a good time. So this week, my shooting schedule is a little off because I have this hair appointment. Lately, I've been shooting on Mondays, which is really good because I feel like I'm getting the week off at a good start. This week, I feel a little discombobulated because I'm not shooting today. That's fine. I'm gonna adjust this week's schedule. I'll be shooting content tomorrow and Thursday. It's so funny how one little thing can completely throw the entire week. But I'm excited to be shooting. I know that I haven't vlogged in a while. Well, let me let me correct myself. I haven't posted a vlog in a while. I have vlogged every week since my anxiety vlog, but I have not had the time to do the editing. Thank you so, so, so much for all of the kindness and the advice and the love that I got from you guys after I posted that video. It made me feel so much better to know that I'm not alone in health anxiety, that we all have concerns about our health and things. And so I really do appreciate all of the all of the comments and, and love that I got. It was so heartwarming and so wonderful and actually is part of the reason that I feel so much better. I have been doing some meditation. I have been, you know, taking some time to really, uh, when I start to feel like my anxiety is ramping up to take a step back and, you know, t breathe and, and just take a beat. You know, I'm, I'm feeling so much better, so much better. Riding this roller coaster of being a full-time content creator is different. It is a lot of fun. I'm having the time of my life. But at the same time, it's very nerve wracking. And so I have to manage that. So this week um, I do have a conference call that I'm gonna be hopping on on Wednesday that I'm super excited about. Autumn has arrived, by the way, to the Pacific Northwest. Um, today we are at a nice, cool um, 56 degrees. It's cloudy, it's rainy. We're back to all of that and I'm okay with it though. I'm a little bit sad to see the summer go, but at the same time, I really like the fact that we're getting rain. Climate change is is, is a real thing and um, anytime it rains, I'm always very grateful. It's gonna be nice to get my hair styled by someone other than myself, although I still have a lot of curl left from when I did my hair with my Dyson. And I wash my hair once a week. I washed my hair last week, I think on Wednesday and did my hair and I still have a lot of curl left. I love that Dyson for that reason. You know, when I do my hair with my curling iron because with just a curling iron, not with the Dyson air wrap, the curl drops like within a, a day and a half because my hair is really thick and heavy. The Dyson, the curl stays really, really well. It takes more time to do my hair with the Dyson air wrap, but the trade-off is, is that even five days later, I have curl. So I'm gonna go ahead and head downstairs. I'm gonna have a bite to eat and uh, get with my planning. All right, well, here's now something very different. I got bangs. I've been kind of curious about curtain bangs and I asked my stylist what they were and she said, they're bangs and they're like to here. And she goes, would you like some? And I was like, sure, why not? So yeah, I cut bangs into my hair and I actually quite like them. I think, I think that they look nice. I got told that I looked retro, maybe a little, but I like them because when I put my hair up, now I'm gonna have a little bang, but it's not short bangs. After my wedding, I, I was so tired of growing out my hair. I've been growing out my hair for a, maybe, what, 18 months before the wedding. I got so tired of having long hair that I cut short bangs into my hair, and that was a big mistake. I looked horrible, 
but these on the other hand I'm pretty darn happy with I think that they're very cute anyway it's just something to do growing up I always had to cut my hair short I was not allowed to have long hair past the age of 12 until I turned about 16 um, just because it was easier to care for when it was short my aunt didn't want to have anything to do with dealing with hair or anything like that so used to have to get my hair cut and as depressing as it was one of the things that I learned from having to have that happen is that hair grows back and so if I get bored with these it will grow back especially lately because I've been taking collagen powder um, whenever I have my smoothies so uh, I'm not too terribly upset with it but she did take and tone down she toned the blonde down a bit but this will wash out um, she said the next time I wash my hair it'll get brighter and it'll continue to get brighter so I haven't lost all the super brightness in my hair I just have some really nice dimension and I just told her to make it seasonally appropriate so that is what she has done and uh, I'm digging these bangs though I really do like them um, but anyway we're on our way to go and take care of my sister's Frenchie we are probably gonna pick up some dinner because by the time we get home it's gonna be like probably close to seven o'clock and I don't want to cook that late necessarily so friends welcome to Tuesday I am sorry for the abrupt finish to yesterday because my battery was going to die I don't know what's going on with my battery with this camera I've got to sit down and play with the settings I think maybe I have something where the battery drains very quickly but despite that I got new bangs it was a total impulse thing and maybe I shouldn't do impulse things with my hair, but it grows back. And I actually really, really love them. I really think that they bring something different to my hair and to my look. And so, yes, I'm absolutely loving the curtain bangs. I like the way they frame my eyes, too. I am still in my PJs. Today is a shooting day. I was going to be shooting my jewelry collection, my hoops collection, but I wasn't feeling it. So I instead am doing a an affordable fashion lookbook. And so I'm styling a bunch of the stuff that I got um, that's all affordable. So I'm not going to mix in the Eloquy stuff because even though they have really great sales and everything, I don't necessarily consider Eloquy affordable. They're, they're a slightly higher price point. Um, so no Mango, no Eloquy. It's going to be Walmart, Target, uh, maybe some thrifted stuff. Um, I'm going to go and go look at my closet and pull everything that I have that is kind of fall related or could be worn in the fall season um, that I've gotten from an, from affordable places. So H&M too. H&M has very, very quickly become like my place to shop. I love H&M because I think that they are, of all of the different affordable brands that are out there, they really nail it. They really, really nail it. The quality on some things is really good. The quality on other things, it's like, uh, maybe, maybe not, but I really like the way the clothes fit, the way they drape, how versatile they are. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be pulling a bunch of stuff from my closet and from things that I've hauled. I need to record a reel of my outfit for the day. And then after I am done shooting, I need to edit because I think I mentioned it yesterday, but having my hair appointment on Monday really has thrown my entire schedule off for the week. Um, I don't think I'll be doing that again. Uh, if I set an appointment for any kind of like self-care, like hair, nails, that kind of thing, it's going to be either Thursday or Friday because that way I have spent the first part of my week really focused on making sure I have enough content for the week. My schedule tends to be really super loaded up on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays, and then I leave it kind of blank on Thursdays and Fridays and even Saturdays just in case, and that always serves me very well. So no more appointments on Monday. I just can't, I can't break away on Mondays like that. So I feel a little bit discombobulated, but nothing major. It's not anything serious or anything like that. It's just, I'm a little bit discombobulated, but not off mentally or anything like that. It's just 
what I've got to do on a day when I'm more used to, you know, having Tuesdays be my editing day. I am going to go and pull things from my closet. I'm super excited though, because I've got a lot of really cool things coming up on the channel. Um, I have got uh, a wide calf boot video that I'm preparing for. I'm just waiting for everything to get here. I'm really kind of annoyed with the woman within because I ordered some boots off of their site and they're just sitting in like a town that's like 20 minutes away and I have no idea when they're going to be delivered. And so uh, I ordered those boots about two weeks ago and I still haven't gotten them. And so I'm gonna continue tracking them though. If they sit in that warehouse for much longer, I'm gonna contact Woman Within. Um, this is my first purchase with them and so far not impressed. I have ordered stuff from Amazon. I have looked at Walmart. They don't have anything in the wide calf boot department. I have looked at Torrid. So I've got something coming from Torrid as well. And I know Torrid tends to take a little bit of time. So, uh, you know, I'm not too upset about that. Um, as far as clothing goes, uh, my H&M haul was supposed to get here today. I think it's been delayed. Um, it's supposed to get, it will now be getting here tomorrow. And then, um, what else is there? Uh, Eloquy. I got more stuff coming from Eloquy. By the way, the pin tuck pants that I wear, the black ones and the white ones, they don't have the black ones available online, which leads me to believe that if you have an Eloquy nearby you, you might want to go check because they are available there. If you're a petite, you're going to have to get them tailored. Just know that right off the bat. But they have reissued them in a really interesting gray and like a mustard yellow. Um, and so I'm interested in the gray ones. I don't have a pair of gray pants. Um, not gray wide leg pants at any rate. Well, not gray pants at all. And so I am really curious about those and uh, I might be ordering them at some point, but just in case you're interested in getting them in a different color, um, I would go with the gray personally. I don't know about yellow bottoms, but definitely the gray pants. So anyway, enough rambling. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get my things together and do my shoot. And then I will be back to show you the outfit of the day when I'm done. Hello again and here is the outfit of the day. I decided to look pretty um, bougie today but bougie on a budget I'm gonna say. Wearing my white satin button down v-neck shirt that I got from H&M and then pairing it with these pants that I have not shown on my channel until today's video and in this vlog. I got these from Walmart. They were supposed to be a part of my Walmart haul and uh, they didn't arrive in time and I just opened them today and absolutely fell in love with them and knew that they were a keeper. I think that these are, I want to say it's free people or freedom of the people or something like that, but I will have them linked down below. These are a pair of corduroy pull-on pants. They feel like sweats, guys. They feel like sweats, but they're a little bit elevated because they are in this interesting, you know, uh, thick whale corduroy fabric, but really super lightweight and comfortable. I would say that even if you're in a warm climate, these are going to be fantastic for you. I think I need to pick up the uh, another pair in a different color. But what I like about it is it kind of has a styling of a pair of pants because it's got this here that looks like it's the zipper, but they're 100% pull on. So I got the elastic band there. And then I've paired them with my gold Sam Edelman loafer mules. I just, I feel like I look like money in this outfit. I love it. For jewelry, I'm wearing my ring from Ana Luisa. Just to pop a little bit of black into the outfit. And then um, my gold paperclip chain. It has a medallion. This is from Amazon. It's affordable. And then these hoop earrings that I got from Target. These chunky hoops, hoop earrings that are also affordable. And... Um, Oh, hang on a second. And uh, yeah, I got these from Target. I don't think they carry these exact ones, but I will uh, link uh, some chunky hoop earrings from Target. Um, on the face, I decided to do a sunset eye today. I'm wearing a NYX palette that I got a couple of years ago. I always pull it out in the autumn because I like sunset eyes for whatever reason during the autumn. It reminds me of the leaves, but it's this little guy here. It's the NYX Ultimate palette and it's in like the purple shades. It's called sugar high so hopefully it's still available i will link it this is a fantastic little palette guys 
you should get your hands on it. Uh, I dug it out of the archives and decided to do a sunset eye today. And of course I am wearing my usual filming lip. I've got my NYX Liquid Say Suede Liquid Lipstick in Soft Spoken. Wearing it with Tower 28 Milky Jelly Gloss in Coconut. And I have lined with uh, ColourPop's Lippy Stick BFF3. I need to get a hold of another one of these as to have us back up. Um, but anyway, so that is the look for the day. What's on deck now? I need to upload my video. I am going to do a little bit of admin work while I'm waiting for that to upload. And then I think I am going to start editing um, the video. So I'm going to be in my office pretty much all day today. The filming was great. I loved the outfits that I put together. And... Oh, I don't want to, but I think I'm going to end up keeping this dress, guys. This is the blue shirt dress that I got from Walmart. Uh, it's the Eloquy Elements dress. I wasn't going to keep it, but I styled it today, and I, I fell in love with it. And you guys have given me so much positive feedback on this dress. It's just a straight up and down shirt dress in a diamond pattern. It's so incredibly versatile. It really, really is. So I think I may end up keeping it. I think I also need to get my hands on another uh, sweater vest from Amazon in maybe like an ivory because I am wearing this black one out like crazy. I almost put it on today, but I'm a bit warm because I've been fi filming. I, I think I'm going to have to keep that dress. I didn't want to. Um, I was going to keep the floral dress and decided against it. So I guess we're trading off. Um, I think actually the Eloquy Elements dress is less expensive than the scoop floral dress that I showed in my Walmart video because I think that scoop dress was like $35 and the Eloquy Elements dress I think is like 20 which is mind-blowing, mind-blowing to me that it's so well-priced and it's such a cute dress. I'm going to stop rambling on about that. I'm going to get situated and get to work. And uh, that way I can have this video up on Wednesday. You guys will already have seen it. Um, if you haven't, I'll be sure to link it. I'm having a good day today. I'm really pleased with the video. So I'm going to go ahead and get to work. Hello, friends, and welcome to Wednesday. All right. Well, it has been a really kind of quiet day. I actually was able to get my editing. Wait, before I dive in, I'm starting out with my outfit of the day. I am loving this outfit. Oh my goodness. This is fabulous. I love this skirt. I'm so glad I kept it. All right, so um, wearing my uh, purple merino wool sweater that I showed in my capsule. And uh, we are kind of chilly today. I think, I don't even know if we're gonna hit um, 65 degrees. And then I'm wearing my anthropology skirt, which is selling out fast. And I don't think they have it in plus sizes. And hopefully they bring it back because it was on there way too briefly on the anthropology site. Now I am wearing my uh, croc embossed mules, but I'm really just working from home today. So I may kick these off later. I do have to do some cleaning of my room, but I wanted to get dressed. And I wanted to dress nice and I wanted to wear this skirt. So, and then I have tied the look together with my Obi belt, which I love Obi belts. They are so versatile. They make a statement. They're fully adjustable. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very much a big fan of Obi belts. Um, and I really like the way this look come, came together. It really helps because the waistband of this skirt gets a little loose and the Obi belt kind of helps keep it in place. So just be aware of that. I do have a call coming up later in a couple of hours and so I wanted to look nice for the call too. I don't feel that there is anything wrong with getting dressed up if you're going to be at home because I, I've been working and you know it I, it just makes me feel good. So let me go ahead and turn you around so we can talk about makeup. I have not put on any jewelry yet but I will in a second. My makeup very minimal on the eyes. I just use that NYX Ultimate Palette, Sugar High is the name of it. But anyway, um, and I decided to go with a bold lip. And actually, it was the lipstick that kind of drove my decision on what to wear because I am wearing a combination of that plum lipstick from Maybelline and an old Bite Beauty lipstick that I have called Beetroot. The amuse-bouche lipsticks are no longer available, but really all you need is Mac Rebel and you've nailed the color. It's the same 
It's the same shade as Mac Rebel, essentially. Jewelry, let me see what I wanna wear. I think because this outfit is so intricate and very romantic, maybe these. I think these would be really pretty or these. I wish you guys could help me. I don't know. I hardly ever wear these. Let me bring them back around this a ways. I really like this jewelry organizer from Amazon for the most part, but sometimes, I don't know. Hmm. I'm going to go with these. These are a favorite. I'm going to go to my desk, get my earrings on. Then I need to shoot a snap for the gram and then uh, do a little bit of work, answer some comments and uh, get ready for my call. So I'll be right back. Okay. Well, call is done. I got the advice that I needed and it was really, really good. Got a lot of really great information. So I think that I am going to call it for the day. I know there wasn't a lot today. Just showing you my outfit, talking a little bit about what I was doing for the day. Um, I've been uh, working on my like to know it. I've been working on Instagram and I had to post today's video and of course answering comments. But um, tomorrow, what's on deck for tomorrow? I really hope my shipments get here. That's the one thing that I am really frustrated with at the moment. My H&M order has been delayed and it was supposed to get here on Tuesday and then they rescheduled it to today, Wednesday. And I got an email a little while ago telling me it won't be until tomorrow. So I have to come up with a possible backup plan for... Friday's video or Friday's video is going to be late. I don't know what I'm going to do. I have to give it a good think and figure out, am I okay with not posting on Friday or do I find something to talk about? I mean, move my calendar around, my content calendar around a little bit to figure out what to do on Friday. Actually, there is something that I think I can do on Friday that's fairly easy. It was a request from one of you, Shirley, hello, asking me to style sweater dresses. So I think I'm going to possibly bring that forward. That was going to fall in October, but I think I'm going to bring it forward because I think that one will be fairly easy for me to do. I'm going to give that one a good think and figure out if that's really the one that I want to do. I've got a few sweater dresses, and so I'm going to probably focus on three different sweater dresses. I guess that's it for now. I'm going to go ahead and go. Uh, dinner is almost ready. It's been in the crock pot for a few hours. Now i got to go check on it and see where we're at. But uh, I guess I will talk with you guys again tomorrow. Hello, friends, and welcome to Thursday. Not having the best of days today. It has been a little bit slow going trying to get everything together for shooting content. And then came to find out as I was getting ready to shoot that my camera is not working properly. My main camera. I have, I have a few in my arsenal. I've got two actually primary cameras that I use. I've got my big camera that I use, my Canon 70D. It decided that it doesn't want to read SD cards anymore. And so I discovered this after getting ready to start filming and um, yeah, it just uh, decided that it didn't want to. It didn't want to work. Um, it works without the SD card in there, but uh, that does me no good because I can't record unless I have an SD card. So I have to go take that in for repairs. Thankfully, I have a really good, fairly new camera. It's my blogging camera, so I'm having to use my blogging camera to shoot content. So sound may be different on my videos. The look and feel of my videos is going to be slightly different because this camera has a wider angle lens. And so you're going to be able to see a lot more of my background, which is maybe a good thing or maybe not, because as you can see, I've got a pile of mess over here that I need to deal with. So that was my, the start of my day. It is already, oh, it's about to be three o'clock in the afternoon. I have been, I've spent... I guess I started working at about 9.30, maybe 10 o'clock this morning. Not to mention the fact that the video that I was supposed to put out tomorrow is going to be postponed because delivery has been delayed. It was going to be a haul video, an H&M haul video, and that's not going to happen until next week sometime. So I had to move things around. And I think I might have mentioned this yesterday, but I decided to post instead styling a sweater dress different ways. So I am about to start editing that. It's been kind of an interesting week. Um, things have 
definitely been a bit more challenging than in previous weeks. Things aren't running as smoothly as I would like. Not to mention the fact that, you know, the week started out kind of weird. I'm trying to keep a good mindset though, because I know that your thoughts, you know, can generate some of this bad energy. And so um, I'm trying, trying really hard to make sure that I keep a positive attitude because um, it, otherwise the week is just gonna continue to, to downward spiral. So the good news or the way that I'm keeping the silver lining in front of me is because I've got a secondary camera. It's not like the show can't go on. If I have to, I will shoot on my phone. I want to be sure that I'm posting content. I have changed the focus of my channel just a little bit. I don't know if you guys have noticed or not, but I am focusing more on petite plus fashion. Um, because I do talk about that fairly frequently in my videos and uh, I'm always talking about being petite and this is what you do if you're petite so I'm actually verbalizing it now I am here for all plus size women or all women in general you don't even have to be plus size but um, specifically petite plus because it's really hard for us petite plus women to find things to wear most retailers have a petite offering but not a petite plus offering there are places that do Petite Plus like Talbot. I think they're the only ones really that I've ever come across that does Petite Plus on a more real consistent basis. But regrettably, Talbot isn't really my style. <laughs> if you enjoy shopping at Talbot, I don't want to offend you. I don't mean to offend you because they do have very, very beautiful clothes, very well-made clothes, and really stylish clothes, but it's just not my style. I decided that I wanted to make that shift into Petite Plus because finding clothes that look Look good on a petite plus body is tough and so I want to offer all of the things that I've learned and uh, I'm having a lot of fun with it and I feel that I can bring a really great amount of value by shifting my niche my channel niche just a little bit and uh, that way I can I can talk with women like us who are petite plus and you know are challenged on a regular basis as to what to wear and how to dress because scale is not there for us everything is made for a non petite plus size woman and um you know having to alter things and all of that it's all it's all a part of being what who we are and so um i'll be giving more tips and tricks for petite dressing um, I think I want to update my look taller and slimmer video um, that I did a couple of years ago and uh, it keeps popping up in my analytics as a video that people watch and so I want to update it. So that's going to be coming here pretty soon. Also, I had asked you guys to provide me with video ideas if there's any content ideas that you have for me and I've gotten a lot of really, really good ideas. I think I'm good on ideas for at least the next two months. <laughs> but uh, I will continue hauling though because I do love shopping and I love bringing you all of the cool clothes that are out there, um, especially if I can find anything that looks and feels and fits a petite plus body. Let me go ahead and show you the outfit of the day and then I'm going to get to work on editing. And uh, yeah. Hello, my sweet thing. Meow, meow, meow. You're so beautiful. Yes, you are. You're such a precious girl. Okay, I'm gonna let you nap. Go ahead and go back to sleep. All right, outfit of the day. Dressed up again, just because I, <laughs> I feel like dressing up. I love fall because in the fall I tend to really veer more to a classic um, kind of style. And so I am wearing my little red floral peplum top that I recently got from Walmart. This is uh, Sophia Jeans. I know I keep talking about this little top, but I really, really love it. I think it is so beautiful. I love the tones of red in this as well as that really lovely kind of be peachy beige that goes through it. And then wearing my black wide leg pants from Eloqui. And I've got these little suede pumps that I got from Nordstrom a couple years back. These are Mark Fisher. Yeah, suede in the rain, but I'm not going to be out in the rain today. So um, I feel okay wearing them. So that is the outfit of the day. Part of the capsule wardrobe that I recently posted. I am trying to stick to that capsule. Not on my videos so much, but in my day to day for sure. 
So yeah, just wearing some of the things from the capsule. Let me go ahead and spin you around so I can talk about my jewelry. As far as my accessories, I am wearing my hexagon pave hoop earrings that I got from Express last year. I am wearing my O necklace from Bobble Bar, uh, my initial necklace from Bobble Bar. I think it's called the Anita necklace, but it's in the letter O for my name. And then um, for rings, I forgot to put my wedding bands on. I need to, but um, I have my Onyx ring from Ana Luisa. I love this ring guys. I am so obsessed. I know I keep talking about it, but it is beautiful and it goes with everything in my wardrobe. This week has been kind of weird because I've been getting some comments that I'm just, I'm not used to getting. You know, I uh, always used to joke that when you get more subscribers, then you, the, the comments tend to get different. You know, they tend to be a little bit more blunt, I guess, for lack of a better term. That's been taking a little bit of getting used to mentally. Um, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. It's a part of the territory um, where you have more people watching your channel and a lot of a lot more people are going to possibly be critical or um, give uh, what I call backhanded compliments. <laughs> it's thrown me a little bit because I'm not used to that. I'm used to, you know, my community, you guys are so wonderful. And I have a few, I think they're new, who aren't... I don't know. It's just been different. It's been different. And this is, I know, growing pains. Uh, my channel is growing. I am getting very, very close to 5,000 subscribers. I'm so excited about that. I have been working so hard and it was off and on. I, you know, I, it's not like I've been posting for the last five or six years consistently. I posted for a few months and then took off for a year and posted for another few months and took off for six months. And then you know, just uh, in the last three years or so, been posting more consistently. And I have had the help of a couple of people, um, most notably Sue from Little Poet. She's she's wonderful. She's such a beautiful person. And she's helped me out on a couple of occasions. So thank you again, Sue, for all of your help. Since I have been doing YouTube full time and been posting three times a week, my channel has been seeing a lot of growth in the last few months. And so thankful. I'm very, very grateful for that. Very, very grateful. But I think with that comes people who, I don't know, they're just... They're not as kind as I would like. A couple of weeks back, I got a really nasty comment about my weight. I think the comment was that I should be sponsored by Weight Watchers because I'm promoting obesity and, you know, and ill health and how scary. And I was taken aback by that comment. I've never in my entire time here on YouTube have ever received a comment criticizing my weight. It made me mad. <laughs> I decided not to retaliate though because I believe that a classy woman doesn't do those things. I'm not going to take it down to that person's level. Um, I am not going to, you know, demean myself in that way. Um, you know, fatism is a thing and um, that was a very fattest comment. And uh, if you're not familiar with what fattest, being a fattest or fatism is, it's like a prejudice against people who have size. That was a very fattest comment. And I was at first going to send out a really nasty little retort. And then I decided to take a step back and actually take the high road and just ignore the comment. It's still out there for everyone to see, but I didn't acknowledge the comment at all. Um, I feel that had I acknowledged it, it's just perpetuating the nastiness, you know? And so since then, I've gotten a few other comments that I feel were almost like backhanded compliments. It's been an interesting week. And I think that, I don't know if you um, have watched or, or listened carefully, but I'm very much about energy. I'm very much about like, you know, the secret, that book and the movie um, <laughs> were quite life changing for me. And then I also follow a few people who, you know, who are all about mindset and the energy that we put out is what we get back. And so when I received that comment, I decided that I wasn't going to put out that kind of energy. That's just not my way. Um, I know that there are other plus size content creators out there that they get very testy. They don't 
sit down and, and take that kind of abuse, which is fine. You know, it's like, I'm all like, yes, I'm all, I'm behind you 100%, you know, solidarity. But, um, at the same time for me personally, I don't want to put out that kind of energy and I certainly don't want to perpetuate that energy. The more subscribers you have, the more opportunity there is for nasty people to make themselves known. And it's easy to be nasty when you're hiding behind a computer screen or when you're not telling someone to their face, you know, what you think. From my perspective, though, people who are like that, especially people who are fattists, are broken people, you know, and I feel sorry for them, really. I feel sorry for them because I'm happy in, in, in being who I am. I was not always this confident, but now that I've gotten older, well, when I hit 30, honestly, when I got to my 30s, I became an, a completely different person. And then I hit 40s, my 40s and even still. My 50s have been a little bit different because the anxieties that come when turning 50 are different. They're more health related and things, you know, it's more about, I mean, I'm, I'm just gonna say it, it's more about mortality than anything else. Um, so that's shaken my confidence a bit, but as far as dressing and being myself and, and, you know, putting myself out there on the internet and putting myself out, out there on this channel and things like that, there's nothing that you can tell me that's going to bring me down. It does take a little bit of an adjustment though, mentally, I'm not going to lie. You know, it puts a, a couple of dents in the armor, but overall, if you're going to be that way, you're the one with the problem not me. And so, um, yeah, anyway, I know this is a bit of a rant and I'm sorry. It's just been on my mind, especially because I'm admittedly going to say that my channel is having a little bit of an identity crisis or was having a bit of an identity crisis. I think I have found my way. I have narrowed down my niche a little bit to serve the women who really watch my channel, who I think watch my channel. And that's petite plus women. I get a lot of comments on my videos telling me I'm so happy I found you somebody just like me short and chubby. It always makes me glad when petite plus women find my content because it is really important that we band together and we support each other. And I know that a lot of people think that style isn't important, but it's very, very important. No matter who you are, what you dress like, what you look like, and how you present yourself is absolutely critical. What we see determines how we react, which is what made me want to become a personal stylist because I want to help women who are struggling with their personal style and who, as a result, struggle with their self-esteem. I'm really about helping you be your best self through style because I know in my past when I wasn't taking care of myself um, and you know not practicing the level of self-care and making sure that what I was wearing looked good and made me feel good it was sad and I was depressed and you know I've been there and I want to help women like you like me you know all of the stuff that I bring to the channel all the energy that I pour into it is because it helps you, but in helping you, it helps me because it fulfills me, you know? So, all right, enough rambling. I'm going to go ahead and get to work. I'm feeling myself really a lot because of the lipstick. I keep looking at the, at the viewfinder because I am loving this lipstick. If you want to know what I'm wearing, I am wearing ColourPop's Bichette. And this is their, this is the original, the lippy stick that they put out and it's in the shade Bichette. It's not a matte lipstick, but it does kind of have a bit of a matte finish. And what I find is that it has a lot of really good longevity and I use it with the matching lip pencil. So I've got the Bichette lippy pencil in, as well. This has been kind of the one that, the red that I've really been going to quite a bit and I love it. I think it's such a good match for the shirt as well. Okay. I am going to go ahead and stop yapping your ears off. I'm going to get to work and get editing and uh, hopefully this video will come together as quickly as the video that I put up on Wednesday and then hopefully fingers crossed that my H&M order gets here today. <sighs> I've just had a week. I've had a rough week. Okay, enough of that. Let me go ahead and get Hello. to Hello. Hello. Um, it's Sunday and I am editing the blog. And I apologize because I forgot to close the vlog out again. Oh my God. 
it's been a couple weeks so I think I've forgotten myself that's my story and I'm sticking to it but anyway um, I am just about done editing my battery is flashing at me so I'm gonna cut it short thank you for watching I truly appreciate it I will see you in next week's vlog until then bye Without you